The second example is more complicated, but can produce a more realistic sound as it samples each note at different velocities. And we're going to allocate each batch of notes at a particular velocity to its own group number, and EMU will create a new voice for each group. We'll end up with a set of voices, which we can process later to respond to different velocity ranges when we play them back from the sampler. Now our repetitive button pushes now need a slight variation to change the group number for each new batch. So we'll set up sample A to sound an alarm and pause using the group delay feature at that point. We can then alter our normal arm place, arm place activity to squeeze in the extra three buttons which are page next, ink, page previous. And then carry on arm place, arm place, etc. And the sample A screen now shows the nine velocity bands which I've decided we're going to capture. So I'll be sampling 189 notes. The group delay is set to five seconds to allow me time to press these extra buttons. Don't forget to start with a clean slate on the EMU. Press master, bank, erase, OK, and prepare the preset. Press preset manage, new, press OK. Go to sample new. Always check the placement screen is set correctly before you start. You press force for a dummy sample and check the two items on this screen are correct. One is the target preset. Make sure that's the preset you've just created. And also check the group number is back to group one and dispose. If you forget to do that, you could add all the new samples to the wrong preset. So we're ready to go. Press arm. And back to sample aid, use the manual buttons to reset the sequence and then click play one. The alarm's gone, press place, now we do next, ink, previous, arm, and that's it. The next batch has started, we're just back to place and arm. Okay, that's the lot. Let's stop. We better save these. Right now, if we press preset edit, we can see voice one has got the first few samples. If we scroll down, you can see the mapped across the pitch range. So there's 21 per batch. So when we get to sample 21, we go to voice 2, group 2, and we get sample 22, same mapping range, and voice 3, and so on. If you put the cursor over the voice number and just press ink, you can scroll through the voices quickly. So there's the last voice, voice 9, group 9. So there we go, 189, the last sample. Right, and to reassign the velocity bands, 
or the velocity ranges. Go to preset edit. If you're not already there, scroll to the right. Normally you go to voices main. If you scroll to the right, you get the key window, which is the pitch mapping, and then the velocity window. And on each voice entry, you alter the low and the high values to suit whichever bands you want for the voices. And the actual velocities we used are all in sample aid. If you press the manual next button for the velocity, you can see what the velocities were and use those to assign the appropriate range on the emu. Now you notice each sample's name only has the preset name and the note number. There's no further information about the velocity.